if you were to tell all three of us individually to jump over that couch, I would probably be like, huh? Like I would, I would need a second. Andrew might be pretty reserved, but in SEMA, go. yeah, go. he's going to be like, oh yeah. That you, sounds, you didn't even say he was almost going to do it. Yeah. You didn't even ask. <laughs> sounds like a good challenge. He was like, what do you want me to do? I'll jump over the couch and go through the right, wall. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so is that some of the stuff that you're kind of talking about? Like you, somebody having like kind of this almost awareness, like I would, I would try to stall you a bit if you were like, hey, Mark, jump over this couch. Well, yeah, so I mean that, you know, that gets into obviously there's, there's some different personalities in that. However, what I would say is the guy that I met 20 years ago would jump over that couch, right? No problem. I mean, see it, right? Yeah. So what's the difference? You're still, you're still the same guy. The difference is your physiology dictates behavior. Now, obviously psychology, and I, I got really deep into this, and I got to a point where I really felt like, like physiology, it, it's everything, all the, no, nah, man. It, like, <laughs> I had to come back on that because then I had some failures, and I'm like, oh, okay, this isn't it. it. It really is this yin and yang where your physiology does drive a lot and predict the patterns of your behavior, but you can still change that physiology through behavior, and that comes through you know, positive affirmations, what you believe, all these pieces. However, when you start working on that physiology piece, you can actually change the psychology piece much quicker because here's how I'll explain that. Why right now do you not want to go into it? If everything on your body felt amazing, hips, knees, everything, would you go do that? Absolutely. So physiology drives behavior. It's not a personality thing. It's, a, it's how my body feels thing because what's the number one thing? So. What does your body want to do more than anything? I'm trying in the world? to think like for me, I'm trying to think, okay, my left hip has been hurting forever and my right knee. So like which leg am I gonna <laughs> try to propel right. myself over the fucking couch? I know I can jump over the couch. I don't have any doubt about that part of it. Yeah. It's the landing, you know, or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the aftermath. It's, it's not falling out the window that hurts, yeah. it's, it's the landing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and to answer your question, I guess would say protect itself. Survive. That's survive. it. The, okay, yeah. yeah, no, no. Protect itself is the same as survival. That's 100%. Your body just wants to survive. So it doesn't matter if we're talking about jumping over that couch or if we're talking about, you know, having a conversation that's a crucial conversation with your wife or an employee. Like, it's all just accomplishing something. How you accomplish that is influenced very largely by your physiology, but that all happens in the unconscious nervous system.